what's going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of better call Saul all right so in the last two episodes our dead Lalo dead Gus injured um Gus wins the 1v1 Kim leaves Saul Goodman is born that's a pretty good summer <laughs> sum up right um and yeah that's pretty much what happens now i really thought again i thought lalo um was going to be there for a little longer you know so um and watching last episode seeing kim leave i guess the way they're gonna finish up this series is you know on how certain characters leave that we obviously don't see in breaking bad which is now finished right because now all that's left is gus jimmy and mike who we do see um maybe they're gonna show us some ventures that saul provides or some services that saul provides for gus because i do remember that gus uh was told that jimmy was able to persuade lalo to do something else just that alone uh, piqued Gus's interest because I mean persuading a Salamanca to do anything is uh, pretty damn good right and that's Jimmy's strength his fucking mouth <laughs> what that mouth do um, so yeah I don't uh, there's about like four episodes left I checked so you know I feel like it's already been pretty good you know um, but I don't think it's for me, it hasn't really been award-winning yet. You know what I mean? It's been really good. You know, I definitely like what happened in these past few episodes. They're pretty, like, drama, drama action-packed. You know what I'm saying? Um, but award-winning? Not yet. So, I imagine something or one or two things happen in these latter episodes that really make it the show that everyone's talking about right and i'm very excited to find out what that is uh, but definitely so far so good um <clears throat> i'd say this show was uh definitely worth picking up after breaking bad you know uh it's definitely been more dialogue focused and story driven whereas breaking bad was those things too but also um uh i think breaking bad was more I don't know, Su suspenseful, surprising, seeing a fucking meth teacher, or sorry, meth teacher, seeing a goddamn <sighs> vanilla chemistry teacher turn into <clears throat> super drug kingpin Walter White Heisenberg, you know what I'm saying? That's what I got from Breaking Bad, seeing that transformation of a man and knowing that he's going to die. You know, that was amazing to me. Whereas Better Call Saul, we know where it's going to end up. So I feel like Better Call Saul had to be stronger story sense and dialogue wise. And it, honestly, I think it has been. I think it has been, you know. Um, so anyway, I, I like what's happening. I like the show. And um, I, I can't help but feel a little bit of sadness knowing that after Better Call Saul, that's it for me, you know. I don't know or probably will watch any other Breaking Bad related things, right? So there's a little bit of sadness there, um, but it's okay. That means as soon as we're done with the show, I already know what show I'm going to watch next. And it's going to be an anime, by the way. And I will, I, will, I, will, uh, I will reveal that once we're at the final episodes, final two episodes, okay? But I guess other than that... Saul Goodman has, has has officially been born. Kim Wexler is out of his life. So is Lalo. So is Howard. So let's see what uh, Slip and Jimmy's got next for us, right? In any case, before we get started watching the re watching the episode, um, I should already be finished with this uh, with this series. Um, and if you want to catch those. Last episode's A Better Call Saw uh, early. You can go ahead and become a member by clicking that join button down below. 
And if you want full versions of those reaction of those early reactions and this re and this these episodes, of course, and past episodes, uh, you can go ahead and scroll down in the description and click on the Patreon link uh, and become a patron. All right, member patron, whatever works best for you. Both gives you benefits towards these uh, reactions, and of, and of course, both helps the channel so I can keep making more of these videos, right? Uh, what also helps the channel is simply liking, commenting, subscribing, and of course, hitting that bell for notifications, because all of that uh, helps these videos towards the YouTube algorithm, okay? Uh, and last but not least, make sure you join the Discord, also linked down below in the description. Come join, come say what's up, we'll talk about TV shows, games, anime, and uh, just a chill hangout spot, you know what I'm saying? So come join the Wolfpack Discord down below in the description. And uh, yeah, man, without further ado, let's get it going. This is Better Call Saul, Season 6, Episode 10. Let's go. How you doing, Marion? Great. Ah, oh, good. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Right. All right. So we're obviously, whenever it plays black and white, we're obviously fast forwarding. What the hell is this? Whoa, that was a different kind of intro. That hasn't happened before. What the fuck was that blue screen? Ooh. It's kind of like shit's about to get messed up. But yeah, I don't know what the hell that intro was about, man. What was he like? Uh, a big tipper? I guess. No. Oh. You know, you stay comfy. I will uh, rescue this beautiful creation. Look at that. Ta-da! Gene's staying for dinner. Do we know that guy? I'm so sorry. I'm pretty bad. I'm good with names, but I'm bad with faces. We don't know that guy, right? He. I don't think he was he one of the one of the construction workers. Sokka. So here's the deal. I will show you the game, and then we're done. Okay, so this guy knows who he is, right? But Saul isn't running away from me. He's... Normally he would kind of, like, try to hide, but he's tackling it. I wonder why. Does he want to pass on his knowledge? I doubt that. Get him in here. I'm sorry about the lawyer thing. I just slipped out. It's free country. That's right. He did have some kind of a... Uh, he was locked in that dumpster room. I do remember that. Very early on. I kind of forgot. And that was kind of bad because they would find out his real history, right? Think Whedon will come through on his home turf? Yeah. No way. With that thumb? Thumb's a deal breaker. I'll tell you something. The Cougar helmet was the thumb breaker. Delicious. Did he just time that guy and how long he would take to eat a Cinnabon? Oh no, he's definitely back to his shit. Again, they keep, they always do this. I have no idea what he's planning, but it's definitely some meticulous, tedious, very precise. What the hell, man? So he's he wants to get to know the security leader, dude. Or he's trying to kill him. Send him on every night. That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of sweets. <laughs> You know what? Okay, I, I could. I think I could definitely guess one thing he's trying to accomplish here. 
He's got about three minutes and 15-ish seconds of the security guy eating the Cinnabon. So that's three minutes and 15 seconds that he's not looking at the cameras. So I imagine Jimmy wants to accomplish something in that time. Um, and maybe use the guy earlier that we saw on the show do that for him. Right? Okay, now he's counting the steps in this clothing store on how it gets to get from each section. Dude. <laughs> so curious. Three linen shirts for free. Four cashmere sweaters out the door. Five Patagonias to survive. Six swanky sweatsuits in the mix! Hold! <laughs> oh, what? Too many! I see. Okay. So, he's recreating the... The space of the mall. And is gonna have the guy... Steal as many things as possible in three minutes. While he's eating a Cinnabon. Right? Okay. Not as intricate as I thought, but the way he's treating it is definitely overqualified, right? Not for you. Just say so. You know what? Screw it. Crazy. I'll tell you what's crazy. 50-year-old high school chemistry teacher comes into my office. The guy is so broke, he can't pay his own mortgage. One year later, he's got a pile of cash as big as a Volkswagen. That's crazy. That is pretty fucking crazy. It only took him a couple years to become the most famous person on Earth. <laughs> that is pretty nuts. Pick up the pace. Go, go, go! One, Armani suits and run! Two, Air Jordan shoes for you! Three, linen shirts for free! Four, cashmere sweaters out the door! Five, Patagonians to survive! Six, swanky sweatsuits in the mix! Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> okay let's see it seems like it'll work out just fine if we're overkilling it like this how's this yeah if you promise me that ricky will get back here by 10 a.m tomorrow i'll hold the box overnight you would do that oh my god you're a lifesaver what's your name again kathy kathy Right into his plans, Kathy. And it's crazy because Kathy does seem like overly cautious, but even the most overly cautious of people, you know, won't go out of their way to inconvenience themselves. You know what I'm saying? And play right into his hands, Kathy. <laughs> Let me guess who's in that box. <clears throat> the dude stealing shit. Okay. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> and time. All right, boys. Let's take some Armani suits. <laughs> Linen A little slow, but you know what? We got One, time. Two, three, four. Cashmere sweaters out the door. No. Five Patagonias to survive. Very nice. Hurry up. Get in the box, baby. That was easy. Nice job. Slipping Jimmy back at it again. This is for men. Apples and oranges, my friend. Mm. Oh. Oh, come on, Osborne had the great Tommy Frazier. Frazier, yes, Frazier, yes. Say it Frazier. with me. <laughs> Twelve luxury pumps to one shelf. <laughs> How about that 44 to 21 win against the Buffs? Be still my heart. 
Oh, damn. We still got half the Cinnabon left. And we <laughs> and we've taken plenty of stuff. Let's go. <laughs> sure looks pretty. Huskers red against their green. It's like Christmas out there. Uh, oh. Okay? Shit. That slip on the floor earlier. Hopefully he's okay. He might have a concussion. Get your ass up, dude. It's almost done. I got no wife. Kim. No kids. No friends. Howard. If I die tonight, no one would care. What difference would it make? Gee, that's that's some pretty heavy stuff, man. It's also a very relative feeling, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Frank, what's the point, Frank? Almost there. Come on. What's the point? <laughs> do we do it? Is that it? Is he out? I think we did it. Jimmy had to pull an audible, but I mean, we know he could do that all day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're not going to tell Nick, are you? Oh, <laughs> no, of course not. Well, thanks so much for listening. Yeah, no, 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 no problem. GG, Frank. You've been playing like a fool. <laughs> All right, so we stole so many things that they can sell for a good amount of money. But I feel like this was not about the money. It's got to be because Jimmy's bored. I mean, you can't just live a life like he lived as Saul Goodman and then just go back to work in a Cinnabon. That, I mean, shit, you'd get bored fast. Maybe blue or black. What's the occasion? My sister's wedding. That's exciting. Uh, what size? Are oh, I see. Oh, he yeah. spent the night in the restroom. I see. Smart. Maybe he stinks just a little bit, but no one's gonna notice that, right? Well played. Free, buddy. His first that, that that seemed like his first big like heist. That feeling must be, you know, special. The most I did was steal a couple fucking burgers in the middle school lunch line. That's the best I got. <laughs> Done. Say it. We're done. We're, we're done. Okay, we're done. Good heist. Well played, well planned out. Executed almost perfectly, except for the guy slipping and falling. <laughs> That's old Saul. There's something about the black and white, dude. I can't explain it, but it's definitely not making it less of a show. I feel like it's adding more to it. Something about the black and white. Oh, I like how the credits are even in, in the black and white. Cool. Very cool. All right. Well, interesting. So that was a flash forward. You know, we spent so much time in the events that happened before Breaking Bad. This whole episode was after. And it was him dipping back into slipping Jimmy because Chuck was low key right. He will always be that way. He's lived that life, a very exciting life that pit, that's a high risk, high reward. It's hard to not live that life anymore. You know, just putting myself in his shoes. 
right? Even if he doesn't get rewarded, the high risk is like adrenaline. You know, you get paid back in that way. The money was was a luxury. So maybe that was him just dipping back into that to feel what it feels like again. Because at the end, when he finished the heist, he was like, <gasps> you know, and then he probably hasn't felt that way in a very long time. Um, especially when the heist wasn't going his way and the dude almost got a fucking concussion. He probably did anyway. <laughs> but well played. He did it. He made, some, made a few extra bucks. Again, I, you got to imagine it was definitely not for the money. It was for the feeling. Um, and now that he's felt that again, maybe he's going to do more. And more. And more. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know where this... I, I have no idea where this is going. Um, but I'm definitely very interested. And again, the black and white, I don't... I, I, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. I, it, it adds to it, you know? It's like... <clears throat> it's like I didn't even notice that it, it, we, were, we weren't even watching in color. Right? Because it's... Um, Maybe the story is just that good. Or maybe I'm just I'm just into it that much. I don't know. Um, but okay. That was that was season six, episode ten, I guess. Um I, I, I'm still extremely interested on how this on how it ends off. I guess you know it makes sense instead of uh, I guess last episode ended off on how he truly becomes Saul leading up to breaking bad. And I guess these last four episodes are gonna be uh, on how he's really going to end up after Breaking Bad. Right? That's cool. I'm interested. Let's see how his life caps off. Either, I mean, I guess it can go one or two ways. Either happy ending or not. And for some reason, a part of me believes Saul does not want the happy ending. Because, I mean, the things he's done to get here, the people he's betrayed helped worked with the dead bodies the dead bodies all across the floor that he's probably remembering the people he's conned he lost his wife lost his brother lost a friend in Howard you know all that stuff is probably can, can resurface so I imagine maybe he doesn't want a happy ending just kind of sad if you think about it but in any case hey that's that's it for the episode y'all i enjoyed it and if you guys enjoyed the reaction obviously go ahead and uh, give a like comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and of course hit that bell for notifications because all that works towards the youtube algorithm you know what i'm saying um and of course i should already be finished with season six uh with the whole series already if you're watching this on youtube and, and you are not a member uh, so if you want to catch those early access reactions, go ahead and click that join button down below. Join the Wolfpack, you know what I mean? And of course, if you want to watch full versions along with these reactions, both early, both past, go ahead and scroll down uh, a little bit further in the description and click on the Patreon link to become a patron. All right, become a member, become a patron, whatever works best for you. Both gives you benefits towards these reactions and both, of course, support the channel so I can keep making these types of videos. All right. And last but not least, come join the Discord. Also linked down below in the description. Come join, come say what's up. We talk about TV shows, games, and anime, and whatever. And uh, it's just a chill hangout. It's just a, ch a chill hangout spot. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you're if you if you're curious about you know what I upload and and the updates on what kind of shows I'm gonna watch, that'll all be in the Discord because uh, I chatted up there with you guys. All right. Other than that, hey man, thanks for watching, y'all. I truly appreciate it. I really do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Better Cross Soul. All right. Peace.